Cheers, Adam. <laughs> Cheers. Everybody, welcome. This is Adam. Adam is our, uh, well, fulfillment, uh, shoot, what is your title? Senior, Senior Fulfillment, fulfillment Supervisor. Yes, exactly. So you're basically heading up our fulfillment team and you're in charge of operations uh, for what goes out the door. Yeah, I, I co-manage the uh, fulfillment team yeah. with uh, with Katie, who's just wonderful, and uh, yes. the fulfillment team is just a bunch of wonderful people, and I couldn't be happier to be working with them. You're responsible for the slightly ridiculous amount of care that goes out there. Yes. And yeah. you've, been, you've been here for about five years, a little I, bit over. Yes, just and, a little uh, over five years now, and I so couldn't you, be happier to you've be seen, here. You've seen some stuff. I've seen a, I've seen a <laughs> lot of things go through the doors. <laughs> exactly. Um, speaking of seeing some stuff, I just... I, can't even help but to get right into it here. Adam and I <laughs> went to high school together, yeah. and uh, we were both in show choir. We um, were. Different years, but, uh, you know, Adam brought some pictures. I did. Of show choir. So, you know, let's just, let's just go ahead and just get it over with, pull off the mandate. Yeah, I, uh, so uh, my grandmother's one of those types who has like a, um, like a walk-in closet of uh, photo albums. Nice. And with, you know, one for every year. So I, I, I just had to dig up some history here, because uh, we have some history. Even before high school, we I think we knew each other in middle school. I remember playing yeah, yeah. Super Bases Loaded 3 on the Nintendo at your house. Yeah. And we laughed, We used to laugh a lot at it, because the sound of a fly ball sounded like a cow. And I don't, so I don't know, I don't know like, who planned that sound effect for like the, the home runs. It was just yes. like, ooh. Like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> it was just the worst, totally the worst gaming decision. Yeah, it's pretty, um, it pretty All right, so gosh, you know, where where to start? Where to begin? Uh, let's let's ones. let's let's do something that's just a little bit like easier before we get into the okay, really, okay. really we'll embarrassing build up, stuff. Build up so, to yeah, we did a uh, show choir together and we did uh, a musical together. A funny thing happened on the way to the forum. That's right. And I don't remember the name of your character. Uh, I think his name was Hero. Yes, it was Hero. And uh, my character was Miles Gloriosus. <laughs> I was the villain of, uh, yeah, that is, that is quite a name. Yes. Um, so I don't know if you can get in there, but uh, I'm in the ridiculous armor, and Brian is like way I was like, over here. I'm supposed to be like a six, like a 13-year-old kid or a 16-year-old kid or something who like falls in love for the first time or something. Yeah. There's some close-up shots from, from each of us. Do you mind if I Oh, should? no, go ahead. Let's just do it, man. Yeah. This one is the coup de gras. Oh, this yeah. is just like the best. Young Brian. Young Brian, young, young, young Adam. Adam. Young Adam was okay. a stud, I gotta admit. Thank you, I appreciate that. <laughs> there you go. That's me. She was that's like, she's Adam. massaging your head. Yeah, that's like, basically what was scratch. happening. That was scene. my lady, that was my lady. <laughs> yes. Uh, and it was... ended up being my sister in the play. That's right. Yeah, and that's also, right. also like the, the shared love interest, so that was a bit of a weird twist at the end. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was kind of a weird play, but uh, you were really good. I remember you were a really, really good actor, and I was terrible. Like, I can't, <laughs> I can't memorize lines to save my life. It was just like all the typical terrible high school stuff. Like, that was me, but you were really good. And, yeah. you, and you went on to major in uh, music, yeah. too. So, like, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I, I went on to major in... Well, I was accepted uh, into Shenandoah University Conservatory. That's where I went to school. Mm -hmm. And I was accepted for musical theater and uh, music composition. Uh -huh, uh, yes. But I had knee surgery my last year of high school. Uh -huh. I was like, all right, there goes, there goes musical, musical theater. theater. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I majored in music composition. And I got to do some acting. Um, but, you know, what I, I loved about music composition was it's, it's all about learning how it actually works. Mm -hmm. Like I, I have a really strong memory of just the first time I knew I wanted to know about that mm -hmm. was singing um, Mozart's Requiem. I sang that in yeah. uh, middle school, maybe all okay. kind of choir, and I just never heard anything like it. It's pretty rad. So that was the moment I was just like, yeah, like I, I want to know how someone puts something together like that. That really just like tears at your heart. Nice. That's awesome. Uh, you got some other good ones here. Yeah. Let's show some of these other. Okay. Let's see. Great oh, this memories. Oh, All right. So these... oh, show choir gosh. is just oh, we, th these two are probably like <laughs> the best. The best for uh, uh, the so show choir not known for like the classiest outfits. No, I mean um, think like Glee, but yeah. like actually reality. Um, <laughs> Okay. Like when I first saw Glee, I was like, "Oh, cool! It's show by show choir." And I was like, "No, it's, it's not." So even this year, to that, that year we had copper <laughs> sequin oh, shirts. And they just like they just did not Brian look good on one. anybody. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it just 
just like it. It, it makes Your me. Your face in this one. Yeah. Is great. They're just like baggy and loose. Yeah. Just, yeah. Like our midriffs would stretchy. be exposed like all yeah. the time. Yeah. Every time we lift our arms up, like our bellies would show, like our airy, flat. Yeah. Be yeah. It was just gross. And this one, I like this one because it shows how Adam was like always kind of on point. He was the dance captain. And uh, I was just late. I'm like <laughs> almost falling down. Uh, but you know, there you go. But I'm large, so they would put me in front because it was my movements were dramatic, which is what mattered on stage sometimes, I guess. Very tall. Yeah. I had large extremities, I guess, would be the things. And then you got other ones here, too. You got. Uh, I do. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is a good one. This that is, is a good, good one, one of you, actually. I think, I think that you're a freshman. I don't know if I was a your... I was a sophomore when I joined. So I was joined. I was in this year, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was. I was. And your sister was in the show choir. She was. Too. She was. Uh, I didn't join. She was a senior when I was a freshman. I didn't join until I was a sophomore. So we never overlapped. Right, so, you're right there. there. Oh, there I am. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look at that. <laughs> nice. Oh, I like this one. Oh, ooh, look at this one. Adam, that face, man. I know. It's just. It's, Wait, um, you said yeah. Brian's sister is in here too. Uh, um, no, I don't know was, if she's in any of these. She wouldn't have been in there if I was in there. But your sister and my sister were friends before we knew, knew each other. Yeah, that's how we like hung out originally back mm -hmm. in the middle school days, playing the baseball game. Yeah, and I you had that it. dirt um, BMX track. That's right. The there was and like a BMX track. We didn't like take house. bikes back there. We just like we just go went out. back and ran up the hills. Yeah, I wasn't very ad adventurous. <laughs> Not a risk taker. <laughs> Not a risk taker. This one. I do have a story about that. Says so. the man who started the business and found. Well, you, well, not a <laughs> physical risk. I don't know. What's funny that BMX track that was that was my house. There was a um, whoever I guess lived right by that track had a goat. Oh yeah. And I was back there with my friend one time on my my ten speed road bike because that's what I oh, would bring to the BMX track. Yeah. And uh, that goat chased us one time. And it was, it was literally, we were 10 years old, and it was this dramatic, like, this wasn't Adam, this was my other friend, uh, Steven, I think it was. And uh, we had one of those moments where it was like every man for himself. <laughs> like, we were trying to run away from this goat, and I think Steven, like, fell or something like that, or got his, like, shoelace caught in his thing. And it literally was like, go, save yourself! <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> the goat! <laughs> Getting chased on by a goat. He turned out. It turned out okay. Mm. He did not get eaten by the goat. The goat was mostly, mostly just, you know. I, I had a goat. I had a goat growing up. From I had a goat. You did. I, did. I had a goat. I grew up on a farm, and our goat's name was Sassy. <laughs> and Sassy, Sassy the, goat the goat did not like my aunt, or or it was either my aunt or her car. My my uh, my aunt had a copper Pinto. Which is like Ooh. a terrible car. Oh, that's the worst. It's yeah. absolutely the worst. And every time that she would come over, this goat would chase her and then jump on top of her car. <laughs> just like <laughs> stood on top of this car, just like, <laughs> like wow. that's a horrible goat noise. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, and then we had a chicken that was my sister's pet. Um, I don't remember the chicken's name. Oh, it was just Baby. And uh, the chicken, <laughs> Baby the chicken, Baby the chicken, and Sassy the goat, and Sassy the goat, um, Baby the chicken. <laughs> would ride in my sister. My sister had one of those like uh, bicycles with like the basket on the front and oh, yeah. we could put this chicken in the in basket. The so we'd just be like what? riding around like on the farm with the chicken in a basket. <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, the chicken the chicken loved to drink iced tea. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is my uh I uh, I have stories. Wow, what is happening here? This is you got uh, <laughs> crying. You're <laughs> Like yeah. show choir, goats and chickens, yeah, yeah. music. Like this is you get a very um, every day. You have a very, you're you're a, a colorful character here, Adam. I am. Speaking um, of which, yes, indeed. We, we got to talk, talk about, about. So Adam is a huge Lego fan, uh, as am I. I'm a little more into the Lego Technic. Mm. You're into the minifigs. Yeah. So um, you brought. Yeah, I have a, your, your all time. I have over a hundred <laughs> minifigures in my office. Yes. And <laughs> at the Lego store in Florida. Uh, you know, near Disney. I think it's downtown Disney. I think they call it something different now. Um, like Disney Springs, which sounds like a retirement village for like Disney characters. <laughs> but I found all these pieces and I made myself a Freddie Mercury Lego minifigure. That's pretty great. That's pretty great. Very proud of that one. Yeah, as well you should be. Yeah. And then we got to talk about your pens and yes. your, your notepad too, because you feel very passionate about your notepad. Yeah, I'm very passionate about, so I, I, I really just brought uh, these four things. Okay. So we can start with the notepad because you, you brought that up. So 
I'm going to take a kind of a firm stance. Go for it. And that I believe that top wire bound paper is the only paper worth buying. If you're going to buy a, a like a pad of paper, okay, it is the most useful. I mean, you can use all sides of the paper, and you know, I've I've pulled a lot of notebooks, I've filled a lot of orders, I've checked a you lot have. of things. You've handled out. everything that we've sold here for five years. Yes, and by far, you can get the most use out of these. Now, it doesn't have to be. I have a Rhodia number eighteen one eight five five nine dot bed. Nice, uh, right here. <laughs> um, so, I, I mean, I just I I love dot pad. I, I think every type of like ruling has its place, so I'm sure, not going to take sure. a firm stance sure. on like dot pad. It, it has to. But be. is that like your number one? Yes, dot absolutely pads. dot pad. Because yeah. I mean, you've got it's useful for writing, it's useful for drawing. And, you know, I can write a letter, and as you write, the dots kind of like fade away. For sure. And if you're drawing, you know, I, you don't want a bunch of you don't want lined or really French ruled, like all up in your business. Oh, that's yeah. Um, but this at least is a helpful guide. Um, you know, just having the dots is a, a something that's good to have. You know, I draw a lot from just pictures. I'm not I'm not great at doing like freehand and just making stuff up, but sure. I love to draw portraits. So I've done a lot of Monday matchups. Yeah. And this has been the best thing for drawing by far. Fair enough. Um, so I, I do love top wire bound. I think it's the only way to go. Okay. Staple bound, you just really like you can't get use out of the second page. And I, I'll also say like if I had to have just this and one other type of like paper to write on, okay. traveler's notebooks. I absolutely love. I'm a fan of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you can throw a Goulet in there. Yes, the Goulet notebooks it. are good. I mean, and and you can, you know, get you can save them. Get a dot pad in there. Get a dot pad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, grocery no grocery lists. Um, you know, song lyrics that pop into my head, um, and you know, just things. Uh, you know, I, you can save the notebooks when you're done with them. They're they're yeah. so small. Yeah. So writing things down for like my son. That was the original intention. It's like, oh, I'm gonna write stuff down for my kid. There you go. That doesn't happen as much as groceries. I did, yeah, I did the same thing. I had started a journal for each of my kids when they were born. Lasted about three days, and then the sleep deprivation took over. And yeah, uh, it's been like seven years. You know, <laughs> but I have been thinking about one of those some lines a day. Like, I, I, I think that's a really great idea, and I might be able to stick to that. A little yeah, bit more. yeah, I'm doing okay. I've slipped as of late, but so Gauntlet Throne, uh, okay. top wire bound, <laughs> fair enough, is the only paper worth buying. All right, so I brought uh, three pens. Okay. Okay, and I feel like this is one. Let's see. I'll start. I'll start here with my uh, vanishing point. Yes. So this actually was a gift. Mm. Um, and I would say, as far as the pens that I have, this is the uh, most used for just everyday carry. Okay. And, and I really, I would say, like from my standpoint, the vanishing point is the best pen that you can get for just an everyday carry. Okay. You're not alone in thinking that. Yeah, I don't think that's Absolutely as strong of a stance and I, as maybe your top wire bound is. Yeah, I've I've got an extra fine on here, and I, I normally uh, I normally don't go like extra fine. Okay. Um, I'm pretty much I, I want a stub nib on absolutely everything. Cool. Because the inks are just so mm. there's so much variety and so much to have fun with. But as far as just an everyday like the Pilot extra fine is just such a great um, nib. Yeah. And what, I, I, I don't know, I'm probably not alone in this, but um, I'm the kind of person that I want to find an ink that matches my pen. Okay. So what was really, oh, yeah, yeah. What was really fun about this was I got to dive into yellow inks, which, which, which I Which is normally like, why? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Okay, so what is your ink of choice? Uh, the only yellow ink worth using. I'm, I'm going to make another you're, strong statement. You're doing strong statements today. <laughs> okay, what is it? Well, I'll, I'll amend that later. Okay. Because of recent developments. Oh. Uh, but I, in here I have Deatramenis Mahatma Gandhi. Okay. I think it's That's a, good a one. fantastic ink. Um, I can write just a little bit with that. Yeah, go for uh, it. Let's see. I just nice. cleaned this out. Hi there. What was I about to say? For everyone. Nice. Worst English ever. Uh, so nice fine tip. Uh, there's enough of like a little. Man. I like that. There's enough of just a little bit of orange or brown in there to make yeah. it uh, usable. It is a good match. It's a good match. Yeah, like I tried the Jr. Bomb Bouton d'Or. I don't know how you actually. Yeah, that's, that. that's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, and I tried some others, and I and I ultimately just landed on this. Not only because of the color, but because I, I you know, I, you know, Gandhi's a great. Of course. Pretty great guy. Yeah. Um, he's he's liked by some. Though I will say, if if you don't like, if you try this out and you don't like it, um, the. Um, Platinum, citrus black. Okay. 
that's that's pretty nice. Cool. It's a little darker. Yeah. So I, I, it's for like a something that's more of a pure yellow. Gotcha. I have to go with this. Okay. Cool. So that's the everyday carry, and I you know I know other folks have brought this on, but the uh, dark lilac is just such a part of our yeah our history. Of course. And I got a broad nib on here. I've got the dark lilac ink in here. Oh, and nice. That's just it's just a point nice. of pride to have it in my office just Absolutely. to remember. This Thank was you, man. certainly a day. Very memorable tour. time here at Goulet. So, and, and, and this last one. <laughs> Everybody's looking at that like, what What the heck that? is this thing? Yeah. All right. So I have been here five years and this pen is, it, I don't know, it's not our first exclusive uh, because we did, uh, we did, yeah, we did we the Edison. Premieres. Yeah, but this was like. This is the original Monteverde uh, Nighthawk. Yep. And, oh, and I meant to bring the box because this thing came in a black <laughs> box with like red yeah. velvet yeah. on the inside. Uh, black matte carbon fiber. Yeah. Uh, black trim yep. originally. Right. <laughs> so Which this now? is what happens when you put your fountain pen in the washer and the dryer. <laughs> um, yeah. So this, this, if I had to have only one pen to write with, it would be this one. Yeah. Um, wow. I I love the weight of the pen. I want a fountain pen that actually has a little bit of meat on its bones. Okay. Like, I love the Lamy pens for sure. just their, I think they're very utilitarian. Yeah. They're very easy to uh, swap out the nibs. Um, it's just kind of like a timeless design. Like, I just, I, I, mm -hmm. I love those. Okay. This is my everyday, like, if I, if I just need something to write with at any time, yeah. on any kind of paper, I really can use this. Good stuff. But this right here... Um, it's nice and heavy. It posts well. Uh, it even just looks rough <laughs> here too. I'm using a. Well, I'm using well Emerald. Loved. I'm using Emerald of Shavor in here. Um, oh, good choice. I was gonna say like, what what color do you have to match this? I guess you could go gold with this one too. I Give could it brass underneath yeah. there. Um, see, I, I I'm not as uh, picky with the black pens. Yeah. Uh, I feel like okay, any, anything yeah. can kind of go with black. That's, that's a, exactly. It's the freedom you get with the black. And pen. honestly, like, there's so much color out there with fountain pens. Like, I feel like it's just kind of like a waste going with black. <laughs> I, I wanna. I want I'm something. I'm kind of with you on that. I rarely use black ink. Yeah. It, though, if I had to go towards something of that color, I would go J.R. Von Stormy Gray. Good. Co good color. Yeah. Good. Really color. beautiful color. Awesome, so, Adam. You have. Definitely made this a very colorful and very strong stance right now. Very much appreciate you Come having on. Me. That's right. <laughs> Let us know what you think in the comments. Everybody, this is Adam. Thanks so much. Right on.